It's Petey with PHNX and we're outside Desert Trails Elementary. We're gonna step inside and take a deeper dive into the Coyotes Reading Program. And we're gonna follow Nick Bugstead and talk a little bit more about his Goals for Kids program. We see these guys at the rink, at the mullet, and at the ice den. But sometimes we forget the impact that these players can have in the community and with students at school. So come along with me and let's go check it out. Okay, great. So that's something I started to do when I was a little kid, and I was I would always write down what I wanted to do that week, and I'd always set a goal. Um, you know, what maybe it was reading a hundred pages. Um, my parents were really um, good about teaching me that setting goals is really important. Um, so I wanted to start this foundation called Goals for Kids, and I actually set a goal. I think when I was about your guys' age, that I wanted to play in the uh, play professional hockey, and I, every every week I would check in on that and kind of check in on myself and rate things. Uh, was I being a good teammate? Was I doing good in school, as most of you guys are? Um, because you have to be a good, well-rounded person to be who you want to be when you're older. Mrs. Scummer, can you tell me how this has motivated you and your kids to do more reading? This is an amazing program. I've been involved since it started. They want to read for the prizes, but also just the, the documentation that they're actually reading. And I had a little boy at the beginning of the year, did not want to read. Mom came in, she was so worried. And the Coyote program actually motivated him to read. And now he's almost at a million words. Can you tell me exactly what the program is and how it works? Yeah, so the Arizona Coyotes reading program is basically just an incentive way to make kids read. Um, we have six items, a foam puck, a pencil, a pencil eraser, sharpener, and a, a couple other things like a ruler um, basically all we do we give the, the teachers the items and we just let them kind of figure out how they want to do it um, it's really it's a really hands-off pro uh, program for us um, but like like we said we see the difference Nick how did you get started with the goals for kids program um, it all kind of started during COVID I've always wanted to um, be involved a little more um, in charitable work and um, Chris Cords, uh, my academic advisor at the University of Minnesota, we've been talking basically since I've been in the NHL about getting what started and uh, finally him and I had enough time in, during COVID um, to make it happen and now it's um, you know a lot of spreading um, just the awareness of it I guess and uh, you know getting involved a lot more in the community so um, for me the the youth is you know the future as cheesy as that sounds I, I think it's so important as athletes to be involved with the kids and you know show them that you care you always hear stories about um, professional athletes um, when they were kids when other athletes came in and talked to them and um, kind of gave them the idea that you know maybe you you could make it to whatever pro sport or whatever occupation you want to do so that's kind of what um, the initiative is help kids uh, set goals and try to try to achieve them and um, the substance is going to continue to grow I'm still kind of working on the curriculum but um, for now it's more um, just just going into the classroom um, you know trying to uh, spread the the love for hockey in the desert here and um, you know hopefully I can do that you know even if it's one kid and we've gotten a few few kids to the games now and um, they seem to enjoy it so that's that's what it's all about Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for coming along for this trip to Desert Trails Elementary, finding out a little bit more about the Coyotes Reading Program, and seeing about Nick Bugstead's Goal for Kids programs as we check out some of the good this team does in the community. Till next time, I'm Petey, this is PHNX, and we'll see you at the rink.